guys this is prema from digital spiritual space once again welcome you all for a short talk about the bathing and the bathing ritual and how you should take your take bath or wash your face uh, as we all know bathing is a, a, a common thing that every human being on this earth does it but how do we bathe how do we shower every day bathing or a shower at least in indian culture morning baths are the preferred ones because we believe that uh, uh, morning baths are the ones which is like a ritual for us which brings in luck harmony abundance and happiness in the family because we believe that uh, taking a shower early in the morning is because every night after the sleep you early in the morning the first activity would be to take bath why every night you go to sleep but every night you travel to you don't know in the dreamland or to the other planes or so, whatever it is but it is said that we do travel and every day when we get up it is a new day and a new birth for us to wash out all that that we have done and that we don't remember maybe knowingly or unknowingly we might be carrying something so early morning when you wash it off all the negativity is gone and you revitalize and recharge your uh, body once again for the day's fresh activities and it is also said that if you the, this bath you can at least take and in this modern era you cannot expect people to take bath between 4 o'clock and 6 o'clock in the brahmi muhurtam the early morning uh, uh, bath which is said to be very very auspicious for uh, people and especially for spiritual seekers but uh, since we all work on different time zones at least we should take bath before 8 o'clock that is what the Dharma Shastra says. But what kind of bath should you take? You can take the normal, when it is summer, you obviously take cold water baths. No, at least not the full cold water baths, at least the lukewarm, like how you can, uh, you know, just the lukewarm water. Or in the winter season, you just take a little bit little warmer than the uh, lukewarm that is due to season otherwise people were used to take cold water baths all the time but uh, our uh, uh, climatic conditions today are such that we are not able to take uh, cold water baths in uh, winter season so uh, it is like you know where there is too much of snow all the time uh, can't expect uh, people to take bath in uh, full cold water. First, you have to touch the water if it is lukewarm. First, you start with your hands for washing your face and legs. This is not for bathing. This is only for washing your face. That what we do in the evening times. Just after coming back, we just freshen up washing our face and legs. So first we touch the water, feel the temperature, then we pour it on our legs and then we wash it. You should not be washing with the hot water on your face, especially on your face because your eyes, ears, all the sensory organs do have marma points. So that should not uh, uh, react too much of uh, heat or hot water on your face also. Uh, brings about dryness to your skin it exfoliates the skin so cold water is always good it increases the circulation also so you you are activated you are energized uh, or, or uh, cold water actually activates your body and hot water actually makes your body a bit tired after uh, taking that bath so, take cold water baths if possible in summer, but in winter, try to take in lukewarm water. It also helps in your weight loss 
and uh, cold water gives you a glow a glowing, glowing air and skin you should treat bath starting from your legs don't put the water directly onto your head you should never do that and uh, you should take first you put the uh, uh, water on your legs and slowly onto your uh, 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 thighs and uh, the abdomen part then your shoulders neck and then you go to your uh, face and then to your head head should be the last one for you to pour the water but nowadays people go just stand up directly into the hot shower which is very very uh, bad for your health so the regulation is happens hard ritual calming one than being a shock going and standing in the hot shower so this is about how you have to take bath from your leg to your head and then uh, when you are washing your face first hands then your legs and then your face and uh, cold water baths actually calms your itchy skin and it makes you wake up early uh, it activates the body uh, it also helps in your weight loss bathing at time can be medicine you can make your bath into medicinal bath like using eucalyptus oil and neem oil when you have cold in your uh, bathing water or you can even use uh, mango leaves neem leaves and eucalyptus leaves to your bathing water and then uh, you can use if you have some sort of uh, skin uh, itching or skin problems you can use neem leaves and turmeric uh, into the bathing water and you can use that and then for uh, removing the negativities if you are not uh, if you are living in a place where there is lot of seas you can once in a week go and have a nice uh, uh, sea water swim and come but if you don't have so uh, we use a handful of rock salt into the bucket of water and then wash the body on the head and body so this will remove the negativities from your aura even anoint the water and make it turn to a holy water while taking bath we cannot go to every day we can't go to all the rivers and but our ancestors have told us that when you are taking the bath before with a mug of water we actually anoint the water saying that gangecha emunecha narmada sindhu kaveri jalaismins uh, kuru this means all the water from all these rivers be here in this water and we take that water for our health and happiness so this is this is the kind of what we chant while we take bath but if you are of a different culture or a religion you can always affirm to the water whatever you want with the positive words or affirmations and you can actually bathe with that water that also gives you the same because water has memory it will listen to you it will act according to your uh, affirmations and mantras what you want to so this is all about this is a little bit about how to bathe and uh, what water does so hope it is helpful this is prema signing off from dss i'll meet you again with one more topic Thank you. Bye-bye.